So I had somebody in my comments mocking me for not believing in God anymore because of Rick and Morty. No, I'm a true intellectual. My atheism was brought about by Tim Minchin. Thank you very much. But not really. I mean, getting into Tim Minchin stuff a couple of years ago kind of started me thinking about things. But then once I like started actually critically thinking about the religion that I was brought up in, it made so little sense that in my mind, it's just not logical to believe in God anymore. Because I was raised Christian. And as you go back and you look at the history, Christianity is kind of stolen. I mean, there was Judaism, and then they killed Jesus, and then there was Christianity. And it was like, oh, wait, we fucked up. Let's just um, create something new and call it something new, but it's really the same thing. But then there's other people that were staying in the same lane that they were in and like, no, we fucked up. We're going to own that we fucked up. We're staying Jewish. And this other group said, okay, um, we're not going to acknowledge we fucked up. We're Christian now. And this is our religion. And we're going to steal holidays from other people. Christmas is taken from the pagans. Christmas is really just the winter solstice. It was already a holiday that was being celebrated. And the Christians saw it and were like, that looks like fun. We'd like to celebrate at the same time these people are celebrating. So we'll make this our religion, uh, our religious holiday. This is now when Jesus was born. But, but it's not. He was born in the spring. Like these things, once you start putting them together and critically thinking about them, they don't make sense. And if something doesn't make sense to that extreme point, how do you continue believing it? And I know the answer is faith. You have faith, and that's that's what religion is. I, I cannot. I cannot continue having faith in such ridiculous concepts. My life is already ridiculous enough. But no, it's not Rick and Morty that caused me to be atheist. The second reason that I came to atheism is because it seems like a more appealing afterlife for it to just be over, for it to just end. Because with religion, there's more, there's the possibility of more punishment after death, even reincarnation. If life is truly terrible, even reincarnation would be punishment. I'm at a point where I don't want to live again. You know, I don't want another life. I don't want to be reincarnated and have to do this again and again and again. And I also don't want to sit up in a cloud in heaven and look down on people that are having to do this. That would be torturous. That, that itself would be a punishment. At this point, even heaven sounds like punishment. Having to look down on people you care about suffering on earth because earth is suffering so much. And if God is real, what is he doing about it? All of the people that say they're doing things in his name are some greedy ass people. I know my family's part of them. And it's just... The, the concept of we have one life and then it's over is more appealing to me than the concept of a narcissistic deity that's going to eternally punish me for the slightest infraction of his rules, which make no sense. <laughs>